I met my wife in 1963 at the Pig. I was sitting um, in my car by myself in a 61 Thunderbird facing George Avenue. And one of the bellhops came down and said, there's a lady up here that wants you to come up and see her. And I was trying to be Mr. Cool, and I said, well, go back and find out who she is. And he came back and he said, it's Kathy, who was my very dearest friend and Phil Walden's girlfriend at the time. So I got out of the car and walked up and went to the passenger side because there was a pretty blonde sitting there and um, was immediately smitten. And um, as soon as we had our introductory conversations and I went back to my car and Kathy left, I immediately got on the phone and called her and said, who was that? I want to get a date with her. And she was a Wesleyan student, as Kathy was. Um, she was staying over at Kathy's house. She was from Conway, South Carolina. And um, she was a bridesmaid, as Kathy was, in a wedding of one of their friends. And um, so Kathy got me a date with her, and then I went up to Conway, South Carolina, that summer to visit her. And we got married, and she's the mother of, was the mother of my three children. Um, in 1976, I bought the lot that was across Monroe Street on the corner from the Pig and Whistle which was interesting to me because I feel like my formative years were at the pig. I mean, we spent all of our waking hours just about at the pig and whistle. We cut school because Lanier was not very far from the pig. And I would usually get with the officer of the day and he would take me out to, we'd go to the pig for lunch. And then every night we were at the pig. Um, trying to meet girls or just have a good time. And uh, so it was, it was interesting to me that I was buying a lot next to the old pig and whistle. And then in 1979, I think it was, um, or 76, I'm not sure, but the, but the day that the pig closed was the week that my divorce was final. So... <laughs> It's kind of a, a real ironic uh, relationship that I have that I have with the old pig. So, um, but literally, I think most of the the students at Lanier and Miller, um, all their formative years were spent at the pig. It, it's just it's an iconic institution in Macon, and still is, as far as I'm concerned. Um, 